energy resources for generating electricity have advantages and disadvantages. So let's take a, a look at a summary for all of these uh, energy resources. Before we start in this table, here is a key we're going to use. So first of all, first off is reliability or reliable sources. Then we have uh, renewable, renewable sources of electricity. And we have a, a disadvantage here, which is polluting gases, polluting gases. We have some free energy, free energy. Some are location dependent, location dependent. So only a few locations are possible. Uh, this one here is a, is a hazard to shipping, hazard to shipping. A couple of uh, energy resources uh, are only generate a small amount of electricity, so a small amount of electricity. And a couple of them are also quite expensive. Expensive. Some energy resources affect affect local ecology, ecology and wildlife. And finally, there are some hazardous materials produced. Hazardous materials produced by some energy resources. So there's our key. And let's look at the first area of reliability. So reliability applies to these energy resources. We have the fossil fuels and nuclear, which are all very reliable. They can generate electricity continuously. Uh, we have renewable sources down here, which uh, some of them falling water, that's hydroelectricity in a, in a dam, for example, is quite predictable. We can, um, that, that is a reliable source. Tidal, solar, geothermal, all quite reliable. Uh, tides, we know, happen twice a day, so we know we can generate electricity at those times. Unfortunately, wind, waves, and solar energy in when you have solar energy in cooler countries, and I'll put a little bracket around here because uh, solar energy is reliable only in hotter countries, uh, but in cooler countries it's not so reliable. Wave power, you don't always get large waves to to, to uh, make the, uh, the floating generators produce electricity, and the turbines don't always have wind to turn them. Next up, we have renewable and non-renewable. So renewable sources are energy sources that are continually replaced and replenished. They will never run out, whereas the non-renewables, fossil fuel and nuclear, will at some point run out. And certainly in the next 50 years, coal, uh, sorry, oil and gas will start to become very scarce. Coal supplies will continue. There's a lot more coal supplies, so that, um, that may be the only fossil fuel which carries on uh, 50 plus years from now. Next up, we have hazardous material. Nuclear power generates, produces uh, radioactive waste material, and that has to be stored carefully for many years. Um, and so that's a downside. Polluting gases. The fossil fuels produce polluting gases. In particular, the, all three of these produce carbon dioxide gas, and that is a greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gas. The first two produce sulfur dioxide, and that is responsible for acid rain. Acid rain. So there's downsides for those fossil fuels. However, the renewables do not produce polluting gases. So that's a good plus point for those guys. Then we have free energy. Well, once you've set up your wind turbine or your tidal barrage, uh, the energy is free. You are only have to pay for maintaining your uh, geothermal power station, let's say. Now, some energy resources are location specific, which means only certain locations are suitable. Certainly, hydroelectricity, falling water, you need a wet 
country with lots of rivers and suitable for damming. Tidal barrages, there are only so there are only a certain amount of estuaries on the coast that are suitable for tidal barrages. And geothermal, there are only some places in the world where the, the Earth's crust is thin enough to drill down to the hot rocks needed to make the steam. So location is important. Now, some of these are, are bad news for ecology and wildlife. So hydroelectricity plants um, dam and flood great areas of, with water, and that may uh, affect the local ecology. And that's the same thing for tidal barrages. Uh, typically, tidal barrages will reduce the mud flats where uh, many wading birds uh, live. Nearly there now. And wind and solar energy. Now, wind and solar only generate small amounts of electricity, so you need a lot of wind turbines to produce significant energy to power people's homes. And likewise, you'll need a lot of solar panels. And that, these two can be quite expensive for that reason. And last two now is that wave power, which has floating generators on, on the sea, can be a hazard to shipping. And so they need to be aware of the areas where wave generators have been installed. Finally, geothermal energy is very expensive because drilling that uh, those um, thousands of meters into the Earth's crust uh, takes a lot of uh, a lot of money and is very difficult to do. So there we are. There's a summary of the advantages and disadvantages of en energy resources.